Hey guys, welcome to ENW Enduro. Today I'm out on my 2021 Sherco 300 SE with a smart carb. And right up in front of me on the hill, that's Richard with his uh, Gas Gas EC 300 fuel injected bike. So today we're gonna compare a smart carb carbureted bike to the performance of a fuel injected bike. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of both. See which one we like better. So no problem up that hill with no run. All right, same hill on the gas gas. Uh, same gear, second gear, and we'll see what the difference in uh, off idle response is and pull going up this hill from a dead stop at the bottom. <laughs> So no problem getting up there. I noticed the initial off idle response, it kind of feels a little weak. Like it, before you get into the meat of the power, it's just kind of straining a little bit. So both bikes, plenty of power screaming up that hill. Definitely a different feeling in the power though. This uh, TPI bike, it's got a, a bit more of like a four stroke kind of feel to the throttle response. Automatically, the first thing I notice here is the throttle pull. Feels more like a four stroke. Heavy throttle pull. And a lot of drag when you let the throttle off. It's a characteristic of the TPI bikes I've noticed on all of them.
you can feel when you first get in the throttle. It's got that bit of a lag. Like it kind of labors to get going at when you first open the throttle. Let's go over some of the benefits of the TPI fuel injected two strokes. First off, they're cleaner burning and more fuel efficient. Also, fuel injected bikes don't require any jetting or adjusting for elevation or temperature. Along with using less fuel, the TPI bikes use a lot less premix. In fact, I've used more premix in three months on the Sherco than I did in over a year on the TPI bike. That's a big difference. What I think is the biggest advantage on a TPI bike is traction. It's almost like these bikes have built-in traction control. I'm amazed at how I can stop on a steep hill and get going again without getting any wheel spin on a TPI bike. These are what I think are the negatives of a TPI bike. First off, they're more complex and harder to work on. You've got a fuel pump, an oil pump, and sensors. This takes away from the simplicity that people like about two-strokes. While we're talking about sensors, I've seen an alarming number of sensors failing on these bikes, in particular the crankcase pressure sensor. Some bikes are having to have these replaced right off the showroom floor and other bikes are having to have them changed multiple times. Availability on these sensors is also becoming an issue. One more negative, while I think the TPI bikes are easier to ride, I don't think they have quite as much of the fun factor as a traditional two-stroke. So right away, throttle response is so much different with a smart car bike. It's just instant power. And really big thing is when you, you let off the throttle, the bike just free wheels, makes it feel lighter. Doesn't have that kind of drag that I'm noticing with the TPI. It's just more playful altogether. Feels more like a true two-stroke. So what are the benefits of having a smart car? Well, first off, it's a lot more simple of a system than having a fuel-injected two-stroke. Much like a TPI bike, the smart car will compensate for elevation and temperature, so there is also no jetting involved. I feel like the carbureted bikes have better off-idle throttle response and a lighter feeling throttle. This leads me to the last plus for smart carb is I feel like the carbureted bikes are just more fun to ride. The negatives of a smart carb over a TPI bike. You're going to use more fuel and a lot more premix. With the two bikes I'm riding in the video today, the gas gas is going to burn less fuel, but overall they're going to get about the same amount of miles per tank because the Sherco has a larger fuel tank. The second downside of the Smart Carb is it is a fairly expensive add-on. It's about $700 to add a Smart Carb to get it on the same level as a TPI bike as far as compensation for elevation, temperature, and also fuel efficiency. The last negative, not a really big one, but you do have to set up the carb. Once you install it, there is a little bit of tuning to get it to the sweet spot. Not a big deal, but compared to a TPI bike that, in theory, runs perfect right off the showroom floor. So in conclusion, a fuel injected two-stroke and a smart carb equipped two-stroke are two different ways to kind of achieve the same goals. Better fuel efficiency, compensation for elevation and temperature. Now both bikes achieve this very well. There is definitely a difference in the way these bikes feel and perform with throttle response. And I feel you really have to try both of them to see which one is right for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.
straightened out and still be on the gas, I'll be fine. Just sit for it. Made it, you made it, keep on the gas. <laughs>